Welcome back, everybody. Those of you that have been following me on social media know I got kind of a uh, experimental project going on. We're going to shoot a couple different barrels full auto and uh, see the breaking point of them on the AR-15 system. They are Faxon Firearms barrels. They're exactly the same. They're 4150 CMB steel. The only difference is one is chrome wine and one is melanated. So the one that we have on the actual rifle right now is the melanated version. Uh, to start it off, before we do any meltdown or anything, that'll be another video. We're going to just establish a baseline of accuracy uh, and see how they do. we got a few different loads in the rifle right now. We have some Freedom Munitions, new manufacturer, M193, 5.56 chambering, target downrange at 100 yards. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my rest today. It was just I totally forgot it on my part, but we should be able to get uh, pretty good results here with the bags and then a rear bag as well. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to lay down the baseline. If the rifles survive, if the barrels survive, we're going to do this after the meltdown as well and uh, see what kind of accuracy degradation we get, if any. Um, there should be some. <laughs> but we'll just kind of test it out and see which surface does better. So again, we're going to test the melanite first. And uh, on the scope, or rather on the rifle, we have a primary arms 1-8 to eight scope. This is their second focal plane version sitting in a Geissele mount. And uh, we have the BCM Mark 12 lower on here uh, with the Geissele trigger. So should be able to uh, see pretty close what the actual accuracy of the barrels are with a few different loads. So again, enough yapping, let's get to shooting. So that was the M193. Next up, we have some uh, Gorilla Munitions, Gorilla Ammunition rather, uh, 55 grain. This is their uh, Sierra Blitzkrieg bullet. It's been very consistent as you guys who watch the channel know, and uh, we'll see how that does. And lastly, we have some 69 grain Freedom Munitions. This is their uh, hollow point bolt tail stuff. It's supposed to be relatively accurate. So 69 grain, a little bit heavier weight here. We'll see how those groups look. Let's go check them out. Pretty good groups all around with every load we put through it, as you expect. Uh, Faxon, like we tested here on the channel, makes good barrels, so I didn't expect anything else. So first up with that M9, what, M193. Right at an inch and a half on the dot. And then up here with the uh, Gorilla, I think it was the first shot, you guys know better than I do, that just went low. I don't know. Maybe it was me, maybe it wasn't. Either way, we don't reshoot groups here, and with that one, it's one and seven eighths. With that, without it, right at a half inch. So, who knows? And then uh, the 69 grain Freedom Munitions. Um, I was actually aiming right at the corner right here, so had a good spot to hold. And uh, just under an inch, so like seven eighths of an inch. Center to center, no matter how you measure it. Let's go back and check the other barrel out. Everything's the same, except we have a chrome wine barrel on there. And uh, the scope is going to be a 1 to 8 primary arms again, but this one's going to be their platinum series, so a little bit nicer. Um, one thing I think I didn't mention is that we have Geissele Mark IV rails on there, or MK4, the 13-inch version. And the um, gas block is the uh, bomb-proof gas block that Geissele makes, and it is pinned and dimpled, so... During the full auto portion, gonna have a tough time going anywhere. I don't think it will, but we'll see. 
anyway, just wanted to add those details. Both both rifles have the uh, exact same installation done. So uh, first up again, we're going to put some of that M193 from Freedom Munitions downrange. And then the same other loads that we just put through it. So enough yapping, get to shoot. Next up will be the Gorilla, 55 grain stuff. decent from here. And the last stop will be the 69 gram freedom load. Pro match. Take a wind break there. We had a big gust. Oh well, let's do it. Check it out. Where I get to shoot out here is a great piece of property and I'm very appreciative to have it, but it is a freaking wind tunnel. Uh, sorry about that, uh, those gusts down there, but uh, especially down where we shoot, it's even worse than it is down here because of the opening in the field. But anyway, I digress. First up, M193. Two and a quarter inches for the M193 with that one. Then up to the Gorilla. 70 to center, we're right at an inch on that one. Then over here to the Freedom 69 grain. Inch and three eighths on that. So um, I don't know what the total there is of all of them, the average group size, but I'll put that down below the average group size for the Melanite and the Chrome line. Certainly both of them are shooting well, um, but the plan is, like I said, we're going to get a full auto lower out here. I have 5,000 rounds of that uh, M193 from Freedom that we're going to load up and uh, just shoot the guns until they break and see what the failure point is, see how each barrel does. Because again, they're the exact same barrel. One's chrome lined, of course the tolerance are, tolerances are taken into account there. And one is nitrided. So there's no other difference. All the treatments, everything like that, twist rate, all the same. So it should be kind of interesting, I think anyway, to see how they do. And then again, if the barrels are intact, we're gonna do this exact same test, same distance, same optics, same ammo. Uh, the same lots. I'm actually holding this ammo that I took and shot today. I'm going to hold that off to the side and not use it at all. So it'll be the exact same boxes of ammo. And uh, we'll see how it does at the end if the barrels are still there. Um, but should be a pretty cool little video series. Stay tuned, guys. I don't have an exact timeline for it yet, but it should be the next month or two-ish uh, once we get that full auto lower in and just start blowing through some rounds and uh, see how these suckers do. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. Hopefully we had an interesting little data point here. And uh, the future videos on this series are going to be pretty cool. So hope to see you in the next video.